Let's talk about action cameras. Hey guys, welcome back to another sit down with me Ali Hassan. And in this one, we are going to talk about shooting video on action cameras, specifically the GoPro Hero 8. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why am I talking about the GoPro Hero 8 when we have a GoPro Hero 9 out there? Well, this video is not really a comparison between the two cameras. Uh, neither this is a review of the GoPro Hero 8. I can't possibly be reviewing the GoPro Hero 8 when, when this has been in the market for about a year now, a little more than a year. What I want to talk about is the convenience of shooting on action cameras or cameras of this size. And what I've discovered, not discovered really, but I've had this camera for over a year now. But I know I haven't been using it a whole lot besides a couple of vlogs here and there. Uh, but I figured, you know, let me put this to a test and, and see how they actually feel like shooting. And this has really good features by itself. I mean, this has 4K up to 60 frames per second. This can shoot time lapses, time warp. Time warp is a feature of GoPro, which is like hyperlapse, but the way GoPro does that, it's really good. Uh, this is waterproof, which is fantastic. And the most important feature from my perspective is stabilization. This little camera has phenomenal stabilization. and if there is anything to go by how I shoot my videos, I really need that stabilization. I mean, look, I really have shaky hands when I have to shoot something really smooth and this camera really, really helps me out because if I have to shoot stable footage on my A6300, my main camera, the Sony 6300, uh, it's a bit of a task because the camera itself, the Sony camera, does not have inbuilt stabilization. The lenses that I use are not does not have stabilization. I use, I use the two Sigma lenses, the 16 millimeter 1.4 and the 30 millimeter 1.4. This has no inbuilt stabilization. Uh, the only way to for me to get stable footage is to use a gimbal, something like this. So this is a, a Zion Tech Crane V2. I got this a couple of years back um, to get you know stable footage coming out of my uh, Sony camera this is an okay gimbal this isn't that great I mean I would probably rate it average to below average uh, but this isn't a review of this setup this is really a review of it's not really a review this video is really outlining the fact how convenient it is to shoot video on cameras like these as opposed to this now I get it 4k coming out of an action camera or GoPro Hero 8 in this instance is no way comparable to 4k coming out of a mirrorless camera i get that i'm not comparing these two in terms of camera quality or video quality that's not this video is all about this video is really about uh, having convenience to shoot on action cameras as opposed to any other cameras but that you see you see the difference look my camera would probably go here uh, there's a lens and every time i have to change my lens out i have to rebalance the entire gimbal with this with this i don't really have to do that with this i don't really have to do that so uh, it's really convenient shooting with uh, action cameras and that is exactly what I've done. Um, I've had this for like I said over a year now. I know I haven't been using it as much as I would like. So I went around the city shooting videos that I would like. Uh, I think it's come out fairly well but the main point I want to highlight is how easy this was to take a camera of this size and this setup and go around shooting around. So uh, that's about it. I mean look, if you guys are in the market for an action camera at this point, I would highly recommend the GoPro Hero 9. I know I haven't used it, but if the Hero 8 is anything anything to go by, Hero 9 would obviously be better. It's got the bigger screen and it's got 5K. Just imagine that. You get 5K out of a camera of this size in the Hero 9. And obviously it's got better stabilization, even better than the Hero 8. Uh, so that's, that's a bonus as well. So yeah, um, that's about it, to be honest. Uh, like I said, this wasn't a review of the product or a review or comparison between the 988 or any other action camera. This was just my experience. Uh, what I found out, not found out, how I discovered, oh, that's not even the right word. You know what, I think I should just stop talking now. <laughs> so, all right, here's my video that I've shot on the Hero 8. Hope you guys like it. And until next time, um, take care and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button if you like the content and bye.